Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you are curious to know what in the world I'm doing with these hangers from my local dry cleaners. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. My name is Heidi Scott. Uh, this is DIY Dreaming, and in case you're new to my page, um, just wanna let you know that the projects that I mostly do tend to be black and white and neutral because I'm completely obsessed with that, that look. Um, they're almost all super easy. Hey Brenda, super easy, really quick because I have a short attention span and when I start a project, I want it to be done like a, as soon as possible. So they're, they're easy, quick, they're super affordable. Um, I like to use some kind of unusual elements in my projects, hence the hangers today. And um, they require absolutely no artistic ability. So in case you've ever said, I'm not creative, I'm not crafty, I'm not artistic. Hey Hope, I heard, I knew that wasn't this weekend, I'm looking. Oh, thank you. I just love, my whole house is black and white this year. Um, I did a 10 part series about three months ago in case you wanna go back and check it out on black and white and neutral DIY and decor ideas. And after I did that, then I just could not get off of my black and white and neutral obsession. But anyways, the, so in case you're saying I'm not crafty, I'm not creative, um, nothing that you're gonna ever see me do is gonna require any of those skills. So let's jump in. Today, I have some really fun ideas um, to show you that have the look of shiplap. Um, in case you happen to like that farmhouse style, or you want to make some signs or trays or even Christmas ornaments that have that look, I'm gonna show you how to do that and you are gonna be so surprised how easy it is. I mean, seriously. So I have three different ways to achieve this look that I'm gonna tell you about. Um, okay, the first thing I do wanna say is that I didn't come up with this idea of shiplap. Um, if you look on Pinterest, you'll see tons of uh, ideas for signs that have sort of a shiplap look. And then I have a good friend, friend named Cheryl um, D. Chris, Christoffel. I can't, I'm not sure how to say her last name. Anyways, she posted some pictures of some ideas that she did with the shiplap look. And so I'm sort of following her and I just want to give her credit. But the hanger idea at the very end is mine. Okay, so thank you, Cheryl, for letting me use this idea. I really appreciate it. Um, hey, Christy. Hey, Jackie. I don't know if you guys are like me. Uh, I can usually copy any crafting idea and make it my own and make it black and white and neutral. I can't necessarily come up with the idea. So I hope that the things that you see on this page, this DIY dreaming, that they'll inspire you. And if you love red and green for Christmas this year, almost everything that I'm going to show you and that I have shown you in the past, you can just take the ideas and make them your own and make them in red and green or, or blue or purple or pink or, or whatever your style is. So um, I hope that you'll be inspired by some of these ideas. Okay, so um, my friend Cheryl tells me, hey Jackie, she tells me that um, she creates the look of shiplap on her signs, hey Melissa, um, using a marker or a black pen. And then what she does is she sands lightly over the top of it to make it look distressed. And I thought that sounded cute when she told me that, but I didn't happen to have the right type of marker at home. And I'm all about using what you have, okay? So I just got out one of these mechanical pencils and a ruler. And to create this look, I'll hold it close so you can see. This says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So to create this look, I just laid my ruler down and um, traced it using my mechanical pencil and then I went back. Oh my goodness, Sandy, your uh, 
I'm watching me from Australia. That's awesome. Hey, Becky. Um, you're from Missouri. You're so glad you caught me live. Thank you. I'm so glad you did too. So once I had the line initially traced, I just went back with the side of the mechanical pencil and sort of filled it in. And that is what it looks like. I also added some sort of 3D effects to this project. I glued the bells on, I put a ribbon on it, and then I glued these little trees. These objects were from the dollar spot at Target. Okay, here's another example. And if you have one of these wood signs, by all means, decorate both sides. It's a waste to have a, a piece of a wood board like this that you don't do both sides. So when I'm sick of this one, I'll flip it over to the other. Anyways, I did the exact same thing with um, an erase, with a, a ruler and my handy dandy mechanical pencil. And um, what I did want to say about creating the look of shiplap is in real life, shiplap is usually either six inches wide or eight inches wide, okay? Obviously, if you did six inches wide on some of these pieces, um, Becky says, what an awesome idea. I'm so glad you like it, sorry. Uh, if you did the six inches or eight inches, it would not look right. So you kind of want to bring things to scale and make them um, a little bit more compressed so it looks like shiplap, okay? And it doesn't just like look like two draw lines drawn on it that are far apart. On this one, I did the lines closer. Okay, and on this one, I did the same thing. A ruler and my pencil, and then I shaded it with the side of the pencil. Okay, so, oh, and I also have, um, I made some ornaments for my tree. And for these, I actually, um, you can either do the pencil and then do the stencil, or you can do the stencil and then do the pencil. And for this, I did the pencil after the fact, okay? So it works either way. I did wanna tell you though, um, if you're making something that is gonna get handled a lot, then you don't wanna use a pencil. You either wanna use paint or a marker, like what Cheryl does, because over time it will smudge, okay? So next up, what I want to show you is um, I was thinking this morning that I wanted to come up with an easy way, hey Connie, to um, an easy way to do this look with paint. And I have a super shaky hand, so I wasn't going to be able to paint it on. And coincidentally, I was upstairs cleaning out all the... Um, the unused dry cleaner hangers out of my husband's closet to put them in the recycle bin. And as I walked downstairs, I said, hmm, I wonder if I could use this part of a hanger and push it down on my, um, paint it and push it down on whatever I was doing to create the look of shiplap. And oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. So. Um, I wouldn't use fat hangers. I would just use these, the, these, you know, ones from the dry cleaners. Your cheaper, cheapest ones are better. Okay. So I made this. This is the start of a new shiplap sign. I will stencil over the top of it. But basically, what I did is I used this awesome paint from a maker studio, which I included a link in the little blurb about this video. Um, and the paint is called Rescue Restore Paint. It will go on anything. It smells really nice. It's super easy to work with. So basically what I did, and I'm gonna show you that, this process in just a minute. I just painted my hanger and I measured out for this one every two inches and I just put my hanger on the board in the spot and you can see that it looks kind of messy and I like that. I think that gives it a lot of charm and it makes it look more like it could actually be um, some shiplap, okay? 
So I did that. When I get this project finished, after I do a stencil and some other embellishments on it, I will post the pictures. So be sure to come back. Hey, and if you like this project or any of my other crafts um, or my style of decorating, um, feel free to tell your friends about my page and encourage them to follow me too. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so this was one that I did. And then I have this wood round. Uh, this came from uh, Lowe's. No, Home Depot, sorry. I have to remember which. It's in the lumber section. It's These, these are great. They're like $6.00. And I wanted to create a shiplap look on this round before I stenciled it, but I knew that if I did it in pencil, it would be a mess really quickly. So I did the same thing with the hanger. And then what I'm going to do is use some white paint to do sort of a dry brush look in the slats of the shiplap. And then I'll use some gel stain. Those, these products are all from a maker studio. Um, in this color that I love called hazel mahogany and I'll go over it and then and I'll be sure to leave these lines so that you can see them and then I'll stencil something um, I did want to mention though that I learned something and a lot of times the things that I learn the mistakes that I made I try to share those with the idea that it will help you that you won't have to make the same mistake and the mistake that I made with this is I tried sanding it and um, for some reason with this wood it kind of smeared it a little bit so I won't do that again at least not with raw wood um, anyways it looks messy you can notice that in a few places I got globs of paint and thank you Becky for sharing I really appreciate that and I um, like it like that. So when I get this project finished, I will um, share pictures of that on DIY Dreaming as well. And um, I think this is going to turn out really nice. I can't wait to get it finished. Okay, so let me show you the actual process. Um, okay, and then before I jump off, I'm going to show you a little preview of the next two craft projects that I have coming up this week okay so I am taking some rescue restore paint you guys look at how messy <laughs> my jars of paint are um, I am one of those crafters that is really kind of messy I'm not a perfectionist I hardly ever measure or you know stress about having things perfect so that explains why my little thing of paint looks so terrible but this is called a little black dress it's black rescue restore paint and there's a link to all the different colors in um, in that little blurb okay so I'm just gonna take one of my hangers let me scooch everything out of the way so I have lots of room okay right here I taped down a piece of just this tan colored craft paper which um, I always have this on hand. There's so many awesome things that you can do with it. So I am just going to put my little, I should have stirred this up. Hang on. Okay. I'm just gonna take one of these inexpensive little pouncer brushes. This came from Walmart in the crafting section. And I am going to put on my glasses so I can see. And I'm seriously just going to do... What do you guys think about this idea? Do you like the idea of using a hanger to create your lines? They look messy and to me, if it's too perfect, then it doesn't really look like shiplap. Okay, so I put the um, paint on the bottom of my hanger, and when you're laying it down, this is what I found works the best. If you 
figure out where you want it exactly and then hold the center of it down for just a second and apply a little pressure right here. And then just using your finger, push down in several spots on whatever you're doing because the um, these hangers are not straight. So, and voila, can you see that? Let me untape this and figure out where I'm gonna put my hanger. Hang on, I'm gonna set it over here. And that's an example, which of course a usual little blob like I'm prone to have. Um, so I hope that you guys like this idea. And if you decide to try it on anything that you're making, especially if you decide to try the um, try the hanger thing, I would really love to see pictures. Oh my gosh, my hands are covered in black paint now. Okay, so up next I have two um, different projects. The first one is I'm going to show you how to make drop cloth ornaments. These are so super simple. Um, they're just using drop cloth from your local hardware store. Um, you can look while you're there to determine what tone of drop cloth you like best. So these are two that I've already made. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but this one, the drop cloth was a little bit thinner and it was a little creamier. And this one, the drop cloth was more, was thicker and coarser and a little bit more of an oatmeal color. So next up, I'll be showing you how to do a whole variety of these. They take like three minutes a piece, seriously. They're so easy. And you can use whatever you have hanging around the house in terms of um, your handles, whether it's um, some silver ribbon, some uh, twine, um, and the, the, um, the silver glitter that you see on here is just your super inexpensive glitter from Walmart. So I don't wanna give all of this away, but there's tons of wonderful things that you can do. So that will be up next. So if you're not already following my page, or if you have friends that like to make, um, things like that, be sure to tell them about it. And then after the um, ornaments, then I'm going back for some more projects using this vintage sheet music. And this was something I made a while ago. Let me get it all fluffed up and I'll show you. So I get my vintage sheet music at Goodwill. It's usually like a dollar 95 or something for a book. Um, it can be clarinet music, it can be big band music, it can be piano music, it can be violin music. It really doesn't matter. So if you have a, um, a musician at home and they have some sheet music that they're not using anymore, you could use that. This, whoops, I realize it's backwards, but it says home. And so it was a cute little banner that I made. It has a little touch of glitter on it and um, so I'm gonna show you some other ideas for fun things that you can do with sheet music up next. All right, well, that is pretty much all I have to tell you today. Um, I'm so glad you could join me and I look forward to seeing you again soon, most likely tomorrow, because I'm excited about some of the stuff that I have coming up. Um, but until I see you again, I will be DIY dreaming up lots more craft projects that are quick, that are easy, that sometimes have something kind of unusual in them, that are super affordable, and that require absolutely no artistic abilities. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.